Jumping Bean here. Just thought you might like to watch us in the kitchen for a while. It's always fun when the three of us are together in the kitchen. Hold on. Okay, let's see what Shell is making over here. Veggie things and, and sausage. What you making, Shell? Pancakes! Breakfast for supper. Breakfast for supper, my favorite. Me too. The kids are coming over tonight, so we have to make things that they can eat. Let's look and see what Shannon's making over here. Mmm. Looks to me like apple crisp. With our own apples. With our own apples. And that's the crispy stuff she hasn't mixed up yet. Okay. So, now look over here. We have got potatoes from our garden. And they're purple, purple, right? On the inside? And not those, but sometimes. Okay, some of them are purple some on the inside. They look like a uh, fruit strike gum. Okay. <laughs> and we got more dishes. We keep piling up more and more dishes. Today has been a craft day. Let me just show you a little bit here what's going on. Cute. Shannon has been busy, busy, busy. Yes, I helped a little bit. And yes, those are my graham crackers that I feed the dogs in the morning. They come in and like to have a little treat with me. Okay, Shell is measuring liquid in a liquid container. I'm going to show you something. <laughs> One cup. <clears throat> We've been having a discussion. One cup. <clears throat> of dry versus liquid. Whoa! One freaking cup! Hmm. Every time I use this... Hey, I need that to do this. Every time I use this for wet ingredients, I get pummeled. <laughs> I get pummeled by these ladies because it's a dry scoop. Yes, because we learned you use a wet thing for liquids and a dry scoop. I'm not scoop. arguing that. What I'm arguing is, is it measures the same amount. <laughs> I win. <coughs> She wins. Here's your dry scoop back. Here's your dry you, scoop. I'm using it. I need it for the dry. I'm sorry. Let's see. Looks like we got a little brown sugar going in <clears throat> with a dry measurement because it is a dry product. Yeah. <laughs> sure is. However, if it's supposed to be packed brown sugar. It's too much sugar. You don't need all that sugar. Okay. We don't need all that sugar, so. <laughs> I wanted it packed. I would have packed it. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I know. For a reason. Because you don't need all that sugar. That's very true. Apples are sweet enough, I think. Well, there's already sugar in the crisp, so. Oh, cut this crap. Do I stop? Oh, that's not crap. Which one was that? Horseradish. <gasps> oh. You, it's going to be spicy for you. I think that's the one I picked out, isn't it? Oh. The horseradish. No. No, that's the one we bought. Oh, that's not the cheese curds. That's the dip. Oh. Okay. They're going to have to go downstairs. <coughs> I fear, I fear the downstairs is calling your name. Or my name. Just leave it out. I'll bring it down in a minute. Well, not, there's not much room downstairs either. Freezers are getting full. Well, that's good because we are prepping for disaster brutal the brutal, brutal winter. winter also r.i.p to queen elizabeth yes r.i.p queen very elizabeth sad day. rest in peace very sad day we got 30 days of night fright going on up on the tv thank yes. goodness the volume is finally down <laughs> i paused it so that we don't get a content strike yeah we don't want that and let me They'd see. They'd be excited to be on our show. Probably they would be excited to be on the show. Mm -hmm. We got laundry out on the line. Let me walk you out there. Yeah, go show me your underpants. I'll go show you my underpants. <laughs> we call them skivs. Okay, what do we got out here? <clears throat> 
We have got a laundry line full of clothes. Probably not dry yet. Because we've lost our sunshine. We don't have a lot of sunshine out there. We're going to have to take some things down pretty soon before the night air hits them. They don't have cold skivs. Yeah, I don't want like cold skivs. skivs. We always know when you put those on because you go, woo! <laughs> or you do this. <laughs> Yeah, Rochelle. I'm not saying anything. Do it, Rochelle. No. <laughs> nope, I've been sworn to secrecy. <laughs> stay, stay tuned to Rochelle G for that update. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to go take a look around, see what the dogs are. The dogs are all in here, probably. Nope. <clears throat> That's Olive. She's sitting with me on the couch. And let's look out and we can see the chickens. They are all up there. And once again, I had to collect eggs from underneath concrete slab that's rusting up against the chicken coop, dead ahead. They've decided not to use the barn. Now they're going underneath this slanted piece of concrete which makes it very difficult to get to. The guinea hens are out today too, at least three of them. And I don't see anybody at the moment. They're hiding on me. Now they've been wandering back and forth. Um, we're having fried potatoes with peppers and onions. Hash browns. Oh, hash browns. I call them home fries. Home fries. Oh, they are. They're potato home fries. Potato, it doesn't matter what they're... Actually, Actually, they're called cottage potatoes. I think you're right. Yeah. Cottage potatoes here on the homestead tonight. Breakfast for supper. We go all out. Ain't no cereal in here. Ouch. We, <laughs> we ate all the cereal. I ate it all. You ate all the cereal. Oatmeal squares. Jennifer comes out with a feed bag in the morning. <laughs> she disappears for most of the day. Oh, Shannon is still mixing, getting the crumble all made. Well, the butter was frozen, so it yeah. doesn't help. We need a cow. A highland. Who's going to clean up after the yeah. cow? No. I can't. And where would you put the cow? In the pasture. Or your bedroom. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm not sure where you would put them right now. Unless you happen to take your tent down from the barn and put them in the big barn. Yeah, he doesn't need a... He just needs a good pasture. In the snow time? I don't know. Those other guys' cows are out in the snow. The so they're only there for a little bit of time now. They got to have some sort of protection, I think. Okay, well, let's go see if we can find. Oh, I see Ridley. Here's Dixon, who prefers to lay right smack in the middle of the kitchen floor so we can step over him. Ridley's laying in there. Oh, we're going to see what color the. Potatoes are on the inside. That one's a pretty one. They are pretty. So these are white inside? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. We have blue potatoes. We just are yep. probably ready to harvest. But we grew these by accident. These are our accidental potatoes. Accidental mm -hmm. potatoes. But they work. It's what we're having for dinner tonight. We grew them on purpose. We just didn't think they well, were going to grow. Yeah. <laughs> we... <laughs> They're giving to us by our friends. <coughs> threw them in our. That's not what I want to do. We threw them in our dirt pile and then. Uh, they grew. They grew. Yeah. Yep. Accidentally. Because we had to get them in the ground and we didn't have any place to put them. So into the dirt pile they went. <coughs> and they flourished. No, they yeah, and then we couldn't use the dirt pile for a while. The kids are supposed to be here at five, if you'll notice the clock. 
They're late, always Wait. late, always late. Always. Always late. I think the only time they're not late is Christmas morning. Yeah, we'll wait and see this Christmas morning what happens. That's true. They're going to want to do their own thing, which is fine. Yeah. But they will still say, oh, we'll be there at, you know, 10 or 11 for casserole because we always have Christmas casserole. Yeah. And they'll be here at noon or one. Yep. And we'll have to sit here and wait for them. Can't... I'm not waiting. Yeah. Right, babe? Right. Yes. She'll make you wait. No, she won't. We're celebrating two birthdays tonight. Mine. <laughs> Yours again. Corey's yeah. birthday. You're using these candles, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. You didn't want me to use those? No, I did. That's why I cleaned them. I thought so. Corey's birthday, which was earlier this month, and Shannon's birthday. Which was on the 6th. Which was two days ago. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. The way she handles that knife. <laughs> I'm an expert. She is good. I learned that from my daddy. Meat carver. Also works for potatoes. You know, peace. Thank you. They're they're good. Good potatoes. Homegrown in the mud. <laughs> kind of starchy. Potatoes are always starchy. I don't care if the camera's on or not. <laughs> so how old is Corey? I have no idea. How old is Corey? How old is Corey? 24. 24. 24. So Brenna's 22? Mm-hmm. Did you add vanilla to the pumpkin? I did. The, okay. I think I am an amateur. <laughs> um. <coughs> hey guys, don't forget to vote for Shell oh, yes. for the... Face of horror. Face of this is the face of horror right here. Horror. Face, horror. Horror. Good reminder, Jen. Good reminder. Wait, yeah, good thinking. Um, it's on my my YouTube. On her YouTube. Go to on my her channel. Facebook. It's on Facebook. It's on Twitter. On Twitter. Instagram. Instagram. And TikTok. And TikTok. But the easiest place is if you just go to my YouTube page. Right up in the top right hand corner, there's a little zombie hand. A little red zombie hand coming out. Top right hand corner on my banner. So just click that and it'll take you right to the voting page. Yep. You can vote once a day and it's free. So I would really appreciate it. Or you can pay money and vote more than once a day. You can. Twice a day. So anyhow, it's a wonderful contest. We want her to win. So please go and vote at Rochelle G. YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Up in the... Top right. Top right hand corner. Look for a red freaky hand. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. We'll All right. That. Shannon is adding extra virgin olive oil. E V O O. E V O O up in the hose. Happy birthday! <laughs> you, thought, you thought that was done, didn't you? I was hoping. Nope. Rochelle yelled happy birthday at least 100 times yesterday. Every time she left the room and I saw her again, I made sure she knew that it was a happy and it was a birthday. Yep. And Shell and I did chores in the morning. Shell did the chores. I just, again, walked along. Bossed. Bossed and supervised. Well, we all are. Let's face it. Yeah, kettle black. I know. I'm a good grazer. I like to graze. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of like the grays too, kind of all day long. You have to watch out for this one. He's he's laying right here waiting to trip me or anybody passing through. Look at that deliciousness. Wait till that comes out of the oven. We'll let you know later how it is. It so good. From yeah. our own apples, it's going to be pretty awesome. Can I share what some of this stuff is? Sure. We have, <clears throat> well, I just showed a picture. This, These are lavender sachets that you can hang in your closet. See the hole? Or you can put them in your drawers with clothes. But because it's wax, you have to be careful and put parchment paper or something underneath it so it doesn't um, stain clothes. And these... Are we calling, are these witches' torches? Yep. Witches' candles, hacks, torches, tapered 
candles, mullen candles, there's lots of names. They're made from mullen that Shannon and I went and picked out in the field. And they are loaded with flavor. Loaded with flavor. I can't tell you all of them because I can't remember. But there's some. Here's some with, it looks like, I don't know what. Here's some that has, looks like rose petals. Here's some that looks like lavender. Look at that chunky guy. And look at this cute little piece of lavender candle with a bumblebee on it. Cute. More lavender over here. That looks like apple. Apple. Maybe that's apple. And these are, what kind of flowers did I use? Am I? Elderberry. Elderberry or? Elderberry. Elderberry flowers made with, oh, I think the kids are here. Wow. Yeah. Whew. Made with frankincense and myrrh. So they'll be delicious. I know that one because that's the one I was dipping. And once again, stepping over dogs. And I think I see the kids coming. <clears throat> yeah, the kids are way out by the... No, I mean the chickens. <laughs> the chickens are way out by the pile of goodness. Commonly referred to... What's out in the side yard with the hay? Compost. compost. Compost pile. Hay and vegetables and skins from vegetables and fruits. No meat. You don't put any meat in the... No meat, no citrus. You no meat, no citrus. citrus. Just uh, other types of things. We have tomatoes, leftover squash, apple peels, things like that. And the Everything chickens... That doesn't make it into our veggie stock. Yes, anything that doesn't make it into the veggie stock, which, oh, I'm sorry, I got that thing right up my nose. Um, the veggie stock is, I think you saw them making it one time, scraps left over from onions, peppers, all sorts of scraps left over. They brew it for 24 hours, and then they strain it and make it into wonderful broth or bone broth. I think we have some bone broth that we made from leftover turkey. So, okay, well, that's just about it. I'll catch the kids as they come in. Oh, I think I see a little something for happy birthday, girl. Oh, I better, I better open the door. Holy smokes. Okay. A quick. Hi. Okay. Well, that's basically it. We're oh, waiting for the kids to get here. Hmm? Oh. Oh, out on the. Uh, yeah, that's fine. As long as it's not wet. Is that for Christmas? Rosemary-ish, I can smell the spruce. Time to on me. Get out of here. Okay, well, that's just a little bit of us girls in the kitchen. The kids arriving for our breakfast for dinner, supper. All the chickens are running back up here. We don't know where the guinea hens are. They're somewhere. And basically, I've just been sitting here. Got a little snack going. Did a little stuff on my iPad. And... I guess that's just about it. So Jumping Beans signing off for now. Good night.